Uh, welcome ladies and gentlemen, your host the Raven here with a special upload um, just for a fan, uh, Lacey12901 uh, asked me a question about the Zen Garden, so I think I'll show that uh, now. Miraculously, uh, after I made my Zen Garden uh, money maker tutorial, I actually acquired the split pea, which you can see needs to be watered. And I also acquired the jalapeno, which also needs to be watered. He's still a baby. And uh, since the glow on the plants lasts for 24 hours, um, to my knowledge, so once you get your plants happy, they'll stay glowing until like another day passes. But most of the time, the, their corn production is pretty slow after that initial, uh, after you first get them happy. Now to answer questions that you ask, uh, Lacey, the best, my favorite plant, my favorite levels to collect uh, plants are the roof levels, uh, and also the pool level. They're, for some reason, they seem to give out more plants, unless you you want mushrooms. If you want mushrooms, then it's it's a it's night. Don't do fog because sometimes the fog counts as a pool because it also has a pool inside the fog. And sometimes you'll get water plants when you want a mushroom plant, so that can be kind of irritating. Well, let's make my split pea happy. Um, and yes, you can uh, get plants for the Zen Garden without uh, Survival Endless. I'll show that. Uh, which, I don't know, I'm trying to play a little bit of it and see if they'll give me a plant, but I have so many. I don't know, um, cause it's random when they give you, they decide to give you a plant. One thing though, the first thing you should do if you're going for plant hunting, what I call it, you know, uh, plant hunting, make sure you have open spaces in your Zen garden. If your Zen garden is full, they won't give you plants no matter how many levels you be. You could defeat 10 million zombies and they'll never drop a plant. So my jalapeno just reached mid-level. Uh, one more water and he'll be adult. And he's actually facing the other way, so I got to move my sunflower to this side. And when this spike weed goes up, I'll set it as a duplicate plant. Uh, as you can see, my money's back down to only 32000 That's because, and these poor guys, they need, um, what's my call? I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, but you see my wisdom tree is 960 feet tall and that takes a lot of money um, once again it takes two two point five million dollars to finish completing the wisdom tree so anyway um uh, well, let's go back you don't need to go there go to the main menu um now Lacey if you I don't know what version of Plants vs. Zombies you have. Um, the version I'm playing is the Game of the Year edition for the the PC. Um, if you, I don't know about the Xbox or the Apple iPhone ones or whatever. So I'm all my statements are made based on having the Game of the Year edition. Uh, I believe once you beat the game the first time, uh, survival becomes available. And you don't have to play the endless one. You can just pick either, either uh, one. However, I notice you get more plants on the hard versions of survival. Like, so basically, just beat the the regular survivals just to unlock the hard versions. So, my favorite place to get plants is either the the roof or the pool. Now, if I need mushroom plants, if you need mushroom plants, uh, do survival night hard. Don't do fog, because sometimes they'll give you pool plants, and you don't want to get a whole bunch of lily pads. I've had that happen before. Like, I got like three plants, and all of them were lily pads, so that that kind of irritated me, because it's, it's frustrating when there's so many to collect, and you keep getting the same ones over and over. So, i uh, play a little bit here. Uh, the pool. It's only four minutes in the video. Don't can't guarantee they'll give a plan, but maybe they will. If they don't, oh well. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? Okay, lily pads, sunflowers. Uh, take potato mine. Cattail. 
And lately, I've been since I'm trying to finish my wisdom tree, I've been making collecting money. So get some of these going. You and uh, Mario. I've been playing, and plus, um, since I play it so much, uh, Lacey, uh, Plants vs Zombies become so easy to me that. I mean, like these says pool hard, but to me it's super easy. It's not even hard at all. Like, really doesn't take that much. Really, if you got cats, like two cattails and a, a row of winter melons, you're pretty good. My gold shroom isn't ready yet. And one thing about um, the gold shroom, if you want to make money, you don't have to have a coffee bean to turn a mushroom, a magnet shroom into a gold shroom. The gold shroom, for some reason, is already awake. So, as you can see, I just have the magnet shroom and gold shroom. I didn't bring a, a coffee bean. get a cat we won't get a cat early on that way we can work on just collecting sun the cat takes a these early zombies that you know don't have cones or don't have buckets the cat will make mince meat out of them so that's a that's an easy thing to do to get your sun flowers up and we're ready for our first cat I'm gonna let this guy hit the potato mine because the cat will take him out before he reaches it I didn't bring any pumpkin shells. I'm just gonna play through this round. Uh, no, I don't want that one twin flower. My accuracy is a little bit off because I'm using the touchpad on my laptop instead of uh, a mouse. Okay. When the second cat is ready, I'll have him join his buddy in zombie killing action. And another thing, I don't know if you collect all the plants, will they stop giving you uh, more plants to collect? That, that's another thing I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Since I have the jalapeno, my mushroom garden's complete. I believe my zen garden, my regular zen garden is complete because that they don't seem to give out the upgrades like I can't they can, I haven't seen them give out twin sunflower or I haven't seen them give out winter melon that's what I want for my zen garden I wish they would have winter melon and I see if you can see the magnet is sleeping let's collect the sun real quick and we'll put the gold through and he's already awake so you don't have to have a coffee bean. And as you see our cats are eating alive all our zombie friends. Let's not get too cocky yet with the marigolds. Let's lay down some melon pulps. Yeah, we'll save the money making for later. Get your, your defenses up first. Sometimes I get a big head. I like to think, oh, I can just do this or that, but... I do lose occasionally when I'm not recording. Like sometimes, like I did something really stupid one time. Uh, I was playing a night level with a pool, and you only start off with 50 sun. And I didn't bring sun shrooms or puff shrooms. I only bought sunflowers and other plants. And I mistakenly planted. Uh, I mistakenly planted a um, lily pad. And that only left me with uh, 25 sun. And with 25 sun, I wasn't able to plant another sunflower. And since it was nighttime, no sun fell from the sky, so I was just stuck, you know. And I didn't bring, um, I didn't bring any puff shrooms. So I, I mean, I had there's nothing I could do. So yeah, you can't you can get stuck here. And our cats will work the zombies down so easily. Like I have like a store 
of sun that I could just use for the planting of my winter melons and uh, also magnet shrooms uh, the gold mags they cover a large range I used to plant four magnet I mean gold shrooms thinking that they wouldn't collect the coins if the coins were too far away but they have a huge range basically I plant two not because um not because you know they can't reach coins but because they have a waiting period before they actually collect the coins and sometimes the coins will actually disappear before the gold shroom will collect them and that can be irritating because that's their job is to collect coins for you you know so that you know you're not collecting the coins like what are you doing you know so I noticed though that if you plant two the other one will generally not all the time will pick up the other one slack and keep the coins collected for you know? And one thing about marigolds, they're slow to resume. So I'm, I'm gonna get double rows of melon pulps, and then we'll start laying down marigolds inside. Uh, I'm gonna bring pumpkin shells next round, and just constantly upgrade the sunflowers. Those ambush zombies, they thought they were gonna get to my plants and eat them, but psych! If you freeze them, they're just, they're just about dead. They're not gonna do much of anything. And our sunflower, another thing, the pool level, it seems like the twin sunflowers pack seed packet re uh, recharges faster for some reason. I can't understand that. So anyway, we got a couple of cronies. Last time I didn't bring pumpkin shells, which was pretty uh, lame. But we're going to bring pumpkin shells now. That way we can start planting more marigolds inside of them. In fact, since, Mar well, no, I'm, I want pumpkin shells first, then marigolds. And we're going to bring spikes just to augment our defense. And uh, I'm going to type in some codes just for fun. Uh, Lacey, I don't know how 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 tall you grow on your wisdom tree but depending on how tall it is um it'll let, let you give you access to like codes and make the game more fun they don't really actually do anything to the actual gameplay um even if you know the codes ahead of time the wis the game won't let you activate them unless the tree is tall enough because i tried to i tried a couple of codes before my wisdom tree was tall enough and it was like oh your wisdom tree is not tall enough so i got that like error message or whatever so um, I would like to give a, a list of all the codes, but depending on the size of your wisdom tree, which generally you can activate the majority of codes if your wisdom tree is 500 feet tall, and then once you get your wisdom tree to 1,000 feet, there's like an additional code, um, which is for sun. View our lawn real quick. Okay, we have two like regular sunflowers, so we'll get those right. Bring our winter melons. We can keep turning them into whatchamacallits and uh, for some reason as I've been playing these uh, survival hards I haven't run into any digger zombies I, I used to run into them all the time okay wait a minute I can't plant any of those anyway so I don't know well we'll leave those out okay marigolds for money pumpkin shells to defend the marigolds winter melons alright uh, I guess I'll just get jalapeno and cherry bomb just for the uh, kicks. And 
and we're going to start a row of pumpkin shells that act as a temporary wall and we're going to plant marigolds and stuff behind them and we got chocolate well and which uh lacy you can get chocolate on any level it doesn't matter what level you play as long as your chocolate's not maxed out they'll give you chocolate and um also the, in my personal opinion i don't know if this is actual true to the game but it seems that that way when i play if my chocolate is maxed out the game will figure that since it can't give me chocolate it'll give me more um uh, whatchamacallit, you'll give me more uh, plants. So, but I don't know if that's actually a gameplay mechanic. It's just an experience that I've had personally while playing. You know, I don't want to ever give you false information. So. And also, we need to protect our water plants. I've been kind of slacking on that. Well, that's the last of our uh, twin sunflowers. Oh, I didn't bring lily pads. I can't uh, add an extra melon pot in the water. I wanted at least a double row all the way. But oh well, I forgot them. I just did that for that I wanted to. Sometimes I like to uh, abuse the zombies a little bit. That's not right, but oh well. And I also want to plant more lily pads in the water. I mean, yeah, so I could plant marigolds in the water. I shouldn't have. Can't believe we got lily pads. Oh well. And the cat's gonna wear these two guys out. Man. Alright, next time I'll bring lily pads, okay? Uh, only four plays completed. Oh, wow, we had the beginning of a gargantua zombie. Which, um, Spike Rocks do wonders for the Gargantua because he has to stop to smash every single plant. And since the Spike Rocks don't get smashed on one hit, he has to take his time to smash them. So, okay, let's view our lawn because I want a double row. I'm going to play a double row of spikes because I don't want to... Because we have a vehicle zombie, the Catapult, and the Gargantua. Both of those, like, do heavy damage to the spikes. Also, um, Zamboni Driver and Catapult, or any any combination of the Gargantua or Vehicle Zombie will wear out the spikes, and now let them to crush the other plants. So, we don't want that to happen. Make sure we take our lily pads like I was supposed to do last time. Uh, let's see here. And, no, that's pretty good. I mean, we need another watermelon, winter melon in the pool. And there's no digger zombies, so that's good. We're just gonna bring some explosives. And uh let's see here. And pumpkin shell. We need more pumpkin shells. And since um 
the gargantua zombie has a little baby on his back that he throws into our lines. We're gonna protect our winter melons because he's gonna throw them over the marigolds. We don't have to worry about that. The one thing I wish though is that there was a plant that could collect sun for you. It's like that's become one of the most tedious tasks is to collect sun. Especially like once you have all your lawn stuff set up how you want to. That that can be irritating. Okay, let's see here. And yes, you can cover spikes with pumpkin shells, which I think is pretty funny. You can also cover potato mines with pumpkin shells. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Have I tried that? I don't think I have. Never mind. I don't know that for sure. Well, one thing I'm getting is a lot of uh, no shortage on coins. And then gargantuars are wearing the thing out. If they smash the uh, first roll, though, I'm just gonna cherry bomb them. And more chocolate. Luckily, uh, for this top level, they've been throwing the little babies, the imps, pretty deep. Well, anyway, the uh, video is like 23 minutes long, so I'm going to upload a part two of this. And we have an ambush zombie in the pool. I think we're going to eat the marigold. Doubt it. Alright, well stay tuned for part two of this. And I appreciate you watching, uh, all viewers, even though this was uploaded especially for one particular viewer. I'm your host, Raven. Y'all have a good day.